Good morning. Um, real quick. I say real quick a lot, don't I? Well, first things first is uh, it's getting chillier out here. It's September, September 7th, 8th, 6th. I don't know. It's September. It's a brisk Saturday morning, and it's getting cold fast. I have a feeling it's going to be a bad winter. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting this cleaned up. And we're going to handle the cleaning and fixing up the bottom a little bit. And we're going to move this inside sooner rather than later. Because I really don't feel like mucking around with this thing um, in the cold chilliness. Not to mention, too, my shed is a mess. Like I said, I hurt my uh, hurt my neck, a pinched nerve. I said pinched neck last video. And uh, I've just been tossing stuff in here. My, I'm actually a pretty fastidious person, if you've ever seen the way I... Uh, arrange my parts and everything so this is really not uh not how i live i really got to clean this up this is a this is a mess but uh, i'm going to get the cleaner here in the rags not the bug spray and i'm going to clean this baby up and once i clean it up uh, i'm going to work on well, i'm going to work on working on that so uh, i'll come back to you when i have uh when i have this looking uh, a little bit better all right that looks a lot better huh we could actually see the control panel. We could actually see there's a monitor in there. And with the uh, requisite cigarette burns from being in a bar. Wiped her down. It's a little streaky. I just got the heavy stuff off. I'll detail it later. And what I skipped ahead to doing was dealing with these corners. All right. Like I said, you know, I, I mean, if you look at the front of this thing, there's no reason. And I'm pretty sure this is, this is vinyl on here. I don't think it's painted. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know it's vinyl on here because as I'm fixing this side, a little bit of vinyl is chipping. There's no reason for me to go and replace all this vinyl, in my opinion, because of these two uh, these two corners. So I had to kind of think of a solution. Maybe it's a hack. Maybe it's not. Uh, I am no woodworking master. But what I did, as you can see here, is um, this was the, uh, I think, the worst of the two corners. This is the corner that was missing the leg leveler, so it was... It was, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. It was uh, leaning on this corner the most. That's why I think it got the brunt of the moisture. Um, so I took my tape and I uh, I taped along, like when I, if and when I do this side, I taped along in here to protect the, uh, the existing vinyl, the vinyl I'm not going to touch. And then what I actually wound up doing was I actually took an X-Acto knife and I cut the wood out. That was all, um, that was all, uh, that was all swollen and splintering and, uh, crumbling. So right here, this is now, this surface is now, I gotta work a little bit down here, but this is now flush, this is flush with the T-molding, okay? Uh, so what I'm figuring I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get new T-molding, that's why I'm not worried about sanding against this and, um, and using it as a guide, but I cut out the old wood. And then I took a um, sanding disc, I folded it like that, and I kind of carefully, without putting too much pressure on the tape, because I don't want to wear through the tape and ruin the vinyl, I kind of used it, and I came in um, vertically like that. I came in at a diagonal like that, and I, I just kind of worked the corner. This is 120, I think. Yeah. I kind of worked the corner, and it actually came out pretty good. So now this is... this. Um, the front of it is flush, and the inside is flush, the T-molding. I, I wouldn't really call this a perfect right angle by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it's a hell of a lot better than it was. Uh, some black paint, I'm going to brush this off real good, just even it up a little bit. I'll get some black paint, I'll paint this while I have this on with a little uh, little hobby brush. My kids have a thousand of them. And... Um, and yeah, I think with some new T-molding and a corner protector on it, I think it'll, uh, not going to look perfect, but I think it'll look, uh, well, it'll definitely look a hell of a lot better than that. I hope, I think. So, uh, I'm going to get my brush and my paint. I'm going to even it all first, get my brush and my paint, and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be, you'll see a little bit of a distinction once I paint it, because obviously this, this vinyl, you know, there's all different sorts of black. There's vinyls a different black, and it's faded and a little bit dirty and everything, so. But uh, I, I think it's going to, I think it's going to be okay. So uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll cut and I'll show that when I uh, when I'm done. All right, and uh, there's our finished product. 
not perfect. You know, left um, since we cut out wood, I left a little bit of a divot in here. You know, which is now painted black, and there's a little bit of a little bit of a ridge here, which I guess we can go and we could try to sand down that ridge. But uh, you know what? Uh, the the less of the original cabinet material I got to take off, the better. This is obviously where it swelled. The front of it swelled with the side. So um, up close, yeah, you know, you could definitely tell something's going on. But you know, a little further back, not as bad, and especially with the corner protector on there. You know, it's really really not bad in my opinion anyway you know maybe if you're more of a purist you wouldn't like that and uh you know not for nothing too the t-molding uh, this is a little scraped up here but i'm uh i'm having second thoughts about even replacing this t-molding i mean the rest of the t-molding and this is dirty and dusty but it's actually not bad so i might not even do that i might just leave the rest of the t-molding alone corner protector is going to cover a bunch of that t-molding anyway where it's scratched <laughs> I was using my compressor sorry about that um so now we got this side we got the swelling cut out and that painted on that side so uh yeah so not bad what i'll probably do too if my wood hardener is still good wood hardener is um while i'm in here i'm gonna spray the bottom of the cabinet Right there and there and I'm gonna clean it up a little bit because I don't want that flaking all over my basement so I'll clean that up sand the bottom down the corners down a little bit and then I can move it into the basement or I can uh, I can do the rest of the work on it because I could always put the, the pieces of molding on as well as the corner protectors obviously I can do that downstairs in the house that doesn't need to be out here so anyway uh, let me get the tape off here and clean it up a little bit and uh, I'll check back in with you second side is done good to go there um, I think I'm gonna move this inside I don't have any corner protectors and I really don't want to leave this outside while I wait for the corner protectors and I also used to have some nice uh, aluminum edge molding trim for like I could use for the sides but I don't know where that disappeared to so I'm gonna have to find some more of that but uh, yeah so uh, I would like to say <sighs> there you go I think it came out pretty well not too shabby if I do say so myself. Uh, a hell of a lot better than it looked before. A lot more presentable. I also um, I also sprayed these bottoms and edges with some uh, some wood hardener, which I knocked over and leaked all over the floor of my shed overnight. Today is Sunday, by the way. It's the next day. Uh, we got uh, sports and Boy Scouts and went to the uh, local Grange Fair, which was a good time. And then it was time for bed. For kids and mommy and daddy. Uh, but, so yeah. So wood hardener makes this a lot less crumbly. This is always going to be a little bit of a pain. Until I can trim that off and get the, the molding on it. Uh, same with both sides. And then uh, what I have to do is I want to take these uh, these leg levelers off. I remove some of the staples from them. I just got to pry these out. These aren't the... Um, um, bolt there's no plate bolting this in inside the cabinet these are just the ones where they hammered the t-nuts the threaded t-nuts in and then uh screw the leg leveler in but these are these are frozen solid even with tools um these are not coming out so take those off and we're gonna move this into the basement i tried to keep the cosmetic nonsense to a minimum i mean not that it needed a lot anyway but I know you guys would rather see me go into the cabinet and tinker with it and try to get it working rather than uh, paint and do this other nonsense. Actually, I probably could touch this up a little bit here. But anyway, I digress. Uh, next time we uh, we check in, we'll have this in the basement. And we'll be uh, taking a nice guided tour of the inside via the back of the cabinet, which is a lot easier. And we'll start uh, start seeing what we have to do. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll, uh, we'll be back soon.